I'm Scott Allen Miller. This is the 28th of February, 2022, and welcome to my daily vlog here on YouTube. And this is Laborio Leon, Nicaragua. I am currently walking past the school, La Escuela, right next to our house on my way to Laborio, the Iglesia, the church, where I'm going to be filming today. It is currently, I'm filming on the day of, it's not super hot today, but it is warm. <laughs> it's probably about 90, 92, uh, but it's not crazy warm. And that's important because at about between nine and 10 o'clock this morning, we lost power. It's probably scheduled, but we don't know the website to go to to check that out. So we're unaware. Uh, and one of the challenges of living in Leon is that the uh, power is used to drive the pumps that drive the water. So when the power goes out, so does the water. Now we have a really large tank. Uh, at the house, significantly large. We could handle all of our needs for the day, except it too uses power and without power to drive our pump, we get nothing. So we are currently without water and power. We could always run to the beach, but we're trying to avoid that. Paul did run to the beach this morning and is hanging out out there. Uh, he did some deliveries, uh, but in general, we're just sitting around the house feeling awfully warm and hanging out with the dogs and the cat uh, while we figure out what we're gonna do. We have no idea how long the power is gonna be off, so I have managed to do quite a bit of videos today, and that's nice. It kind of forced me away from my desk. No reason to sit at my laptop as the power drained out because we don't have any battery backups yet for our internet devices. So even though the fiber is obviously still working as it would, uh, and the cell phone service is still working, uh, we don't have connections for the Wi-Fi and the laptop and all those kinds of things. So we're offline. Dominica has been just relaxing and reading. Uh, the kids are using their iPads as much as they can until the power drains out. And I am walking all over the city uh, doing the videos so that at least I don't have a video backlog. And I do enjoy that I get to record in the middle of the day instead of at exactly 5.30 in the evening as I normally get to do every day, which is, it's just annoying that I get the same light and the same rush all the time to get the videos done, this is a nice change of pace. This is La Iglesia Laborio that I am walking past now. So today is Monday, and of course we were watching the news this morning pretty closely, but we can't really load the news now. None of us have uh, Claro Ortigo service hooked up on our phones, so we're working off the T-Mobile from the States, which is incredibly slow. And while we can get emails out, no problem, and WhatsApp is perfect, getting news and stuff loaded from like CNN or uh, BBC or Al Jazeera could take 30 minutes just to load a web page and does a lot to drain our batteries, so we try not to do that very much. So mostly we're isolated and just trying to chat with people at work whenever possible, uh, and otherwise, we just kind of have to make the best of being able to relax, which makes it nice that I can walk out and do the videos without any problem. So that is what I am doing today, and it is working out pretty well. It is rather noisy out here. I'm gonna head up the steps of the church because it's just it's a little bit nicer up there, a little bit of ways away from the road. Uh, but the dogs do not like being without power. They're trying to hang out and they don't like the, the cats out and there's no air conditioning. And so it's quite warm and they really don't have anywhere to go. Uh, and there's no fans. So it's nice because it's quiet, but it's rough because it's warm. But it's only about 92 and we're so used to it being about 96 that this actually doesn't feel too bad, except there's really no escape from it and it's a little bit hard to get water. Luckily our drinking water is bottled so that's not too big of a deal, but it's warm because it's above 90 degrees. So uh, this life in Nicaragua is not completely perfect. This is one of those things that hits you a bit. However, when we lived in the United States, we went so long without power and it was so much worse because you're worried about like your pipes freezing and stuff rather than just feeling a bit warm and having to drink bottled water. The, you know, here it's more inconvenient. In the United States, it's more risky. The risk in the US was that our pipes would burst, that we would have no drinking water, and that our house would be destroyed. Here, we're simply worried that we're gonna be extra thirsty and won't be able to flush the toilets for several hours. It's really, it's quite a bit different in, in how big the impact of these things are. So, uh, you know, even though it's annoying on a day like today, I would take this over the risk in Texas any day. It's, uh, it's certainly the better way to go. The power was out for a lot of the day, and when it finally came back after about four hours out, it kept 
going out uh, about once an hour for like two to five minutes, which was super annoying. But at least we were able to start filling up the tanks and getting water and flushing and charging things. So it wasn't a terrible day, but it did make for some complications. This is Monday, so our plan is to head up to Via Via for trivia night again tonight. We've been doing this for about a month now, pretty religiously, and uh, it's fun. Last week was really slow. There's kids just screaming at me in the background. They keep wanting me to go do something. And today has been a day of people wanting me to do things. I had the the drunk guy today, and uh, he actually followed me home quite a ways, and I had to kind of walk quickly to get away from him as he was following me all through the neighborhood. But luckily, I have long legs and a, and a quick stride. And he was pretty drunk, so his movement was pretty slow, so getting away from him was not a big challenge. Uh, overall, today's been good. Um, a bit of not being able to communicate with customers because the power's out, that's always annoying. Trying to do uh, telephone calls and stuff when there's no internet, because none of our stuff has batteries. So when we're uh, without power, our router goes down, our wireless goes down, that kind of stuff. We're on fiber, it would work if we had batteries for those things. So that's a priority, we gotta get that. But uh, tonight we will be heading out late to Via Via. I did get a lot of videos done, more since the last time I made a video. So very productive day for that, I'm happy about that. Uh, it's, been, it's been overall a good day. And the kids, uh, once they were able to connect to each other, because again, no wireless, uh, without power, they're playing Stardew Valley. They've been trying to set that up for a couple days and finally have it working so they're able to play online with each other and do a co-op game, which I don't know how any of it works, but it's a pretty cool game. They like it a lot. And uh, really any game that lets them play uh, together is a really big deal. It's a lot more, a lot more interesting because so often the games they play, they're stuck doing stuff on their own and uh, just, it just takes a lot out of it considering how much time they spend playing video games, having stuff that's uh, uh, online player to player because each of them has their own laptop is really nice. They're able to, to really interact and do a broader scope of things. All right, I will see you from the uh, trip to Vietnam. All right, I'm here with Alan and Anna. We are at... Guarda Barranco. Guarda Barranco. Guarda Barranco. Guarda Barranco. There we go. <laughs> and uh, they have coffee and cakes and sandwiches and supposedly mozzarella sticks. We're gonna find out. And we are off. After this, we're heading to Via Via for trivia night. So we're gonna see you from there. <laughs> Say hola. Hello. <laughs> hola. <laughs> Adios. All right, we had our dinner and desserts, and we're heading down to Via Via, which is way, way down the street here. It's uh, not way down the street. It's, it's, like the street. it's right here. And uh, <laughs> we're going to trivia night, where we are going to lose horribly, because that's what we do. We're not going to uh, lose horribly. We're going to win. We're winners. He says we're going to win. We are not going to win. They mostly ask pop culture things that we would never know, or really random things. Well, that was, that was I may, maybe I shouldn't be in the road when I'm not looking. Uh, and we're... <laughs> We are heading, I don't know if they're doing live music tonight or a DJ or or what they have, but uh, you know, if I turn the camera, I can actually see the road behind me a little bit. All right, we're gonna pop up here. We are already at Via Via, so we'll see everybody inside. evening at Via Via actually got cut short and I did not have a chance to finish filming while we were there and so I'm days later doing a quick wrap up uh, because we were there and I shot the footage that you just saw and right after that they decided to just crank the music back up blow out the speaker not blow out the speakers but blow out the sound to make it painful to be in there so alan and anna were just like we're out of here they just got up and left the table next to us got up and left i, wa I walked outside so that i could make it to the next round of trivia because we had already done the first round uh, some people walked down the street plugged their ears as they walked in turned around walked back out they lost at least 10 people that were playing trivia all in a couple minutes I went in, it was a little bit more quiet once they stopped playing music. 
finished up the second round of trivia, but the moment we were done, we handed in the stuff. I'm like, I'm walking home. I'm not putting up with this. We have, I've tried multiple times. They keep turning up the music. This time, there was no excuse. Paul spoke to them earlier. He spoke to the owner, uh, or at least the region, the, the local manager. He spoke to the staff. They turned down the audio so that it was at a, a level. We got there, we were all like, oh, this is great. It's not painful. And then they knew that it was a problem and they cranked it up, which was just, as far as I was concerned, absolutely telling us that they had no interest in us as customers. And it was, you know, this was not an accident, right? They had already done it in previous days where I'd left and said, I shouldn't come here, it's so loud. But this time they knew ahead of time and they cranked it up anyway, which if that's their audience, if they have, but it was distortion, right? My complaint was not the volume, it was the distortion. Last time it was feedback. This time distortion. I just walked home. I'm like, I'm not coming back. I'm not doing this anymore. I've put up, it's painful, actually painful to be there. So, and, and the Alan and Anna just left in the middle of it. Yeah, it's, it's certainly not just me. Um, when Paul and Dominica got back, they were like, that was so obnoxious. Um, I left reviews. I emailed corporate in Belgium to tell them uh, the experience and how disappointed I was that I'd give them, given them try after try, that we had talked to them about the problems, that we had fixed it for them. And then they decided that they had, they brought in a guy to crank it back up um, after it had been correct. Just so that's why there was no more footage. I was able to record what I had. It was way too loud to even sit. I couldn't sit there without my fingers in my ears after that point. So that is why there's nothing further from the night at Via Via. See all of you tomorrow.